I'm going to show you how to create a healing effect like the one that you see here, which is basic materials. Let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to create a new material and we are going to call this healing. Do note that I did import my healing mark for the material itself. So import the one that you want to use at this stage as well. Once that's done, open up the healing, go to blend mode and click translucent. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to get a texture sample and the texture sample of which is going to be the first which is included in the starter content what you're also going to want to do is you're going to want to get a particle color and a multiply and to get the multiply just hold m and click bring in your alpha and the red from your texture sample and this is going to run into your opacity and you're also going to run your particle color into your emissive color what you're also going to get is a row Rotator and bring this in to your UVs here and set your speed to about four. In my personal opinion, that's probably the best option. And we are all set. So just click apply. And what you're going to do is you're going to cancel and close that out. You're going to want to duplicate this. We're going to name this healing mark. Uh, we already have that name. So healing mark one. Okay, so now open up your healing mark one and then just remove the rotator and change the texture to the texture that you imported in. Then just apply and go back to the content browser. Back in the content browser, what we're going to do is we're going to create a particle system called healing particle. And you're going to open this up and you are going to right click, go to type data and do a new mesh data. This new mesh is going to be a plane and we are going to override the material on it and this is where we're actually going to be putting in our circle effect so to do that now you're going to go to required and we are going to do uh, healing or whatever you named your previous material and then what you're going to do is go to spawn and change the constant to 15. go to lifetime and set the max to 0.9 and the min to 0.9 my apologies and the max to 1.2 in the initial size category, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to set distribution to vector constant and the constant of which is going to be 7x and 7y. For our initial velocity here, what we are going to also do is we are going to set our max to 5, 5, and 40. And for your min, what you're going to do is you're going to do negative 5, negative 5, and then 25. Once that's done, just come in here and change the colors to what you want to see on your material. For the next step, you're going to create a size, size by life. And within this tab, you are going to want to set the end value to 0.85 and the out value of which is going to be 1.1 all the way across here. So 1.1 and 1.1. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and create a constant acceleration. And within there, what you're going to do is you're gonna set the Z to which is gonna be 40. Now we're gonna create a new emitter. And what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the required and we are gonna change the particle to radial gradient, which is included in the starter content. Within the spawn, we are going to change the constant to 35. The lifetime, we are going to set the max to 2. The initial size is going to be 35, 35, and 35. The velocity is going to be 10, 10, 90, and it's going to be negative 10, negative 10, 80. And now change your color once again. Once that's done, you are going to create a initial location and the values of which is going to be 200, 200, and negative 200 as seen here and then what you're going to do is you're also going to duplicate the same emitter within here you're going to go to required and then change this uh, material to our healing material our healing mark specifically and go to the initial size and change it to 18 18 and 18 with a minimum of 14 14 and 14. And what you're also going to do is you're going to want to create a constant acceleration and the Z value of which is going to be 70. Back in our content browser, if we draw in the healing particle, you can see that it is placed on the map. You can adjust the scale accordingly to fit your the uh, environment that you're in. 